Hello and welcome back to Student Tutorials. In today's video, we're going to be going over what is LaTeX and why we use LaTeX within our department. So LaTeX is a coding language that was designed especially for producing reports and documents. So unlike in Microsoft Word, where you use pre-designed tools to add text and images, in LaTeX you have to physically code every aspect of your report or how do you like it. So you'll see here that if I go onto LaTeX and just type underneath the Begin Document section with no code in front of it and hit Recompile, it's just going to add it in how you would see it in a Word document. But if I go into this next line here and press backslash text BF, or type rather, and then have curly brackets and type within the curly brackets, you're going to see here that it's going to create a bold font instead. Now don't panic, you don't need to have any prior knowledge to coding before using LaTeX. But a lot of students will ask why use LaTeX. So a lot of students will see immediately the coding is involved and they'll go, no, I'm going to use Word. But in the long run, LaTeX allows you so much more freedom to place text, equations, references and images as you like. As there are built-in commands that allow the equations to be moved and formatted or allow the images to be changed to whatever place you like. So don't worry, we're going to go over everything you need to know in these basics videos for LaTeX. Obviously, there's a bit of a learning curve with LaTeX, we don't deny that. However, the good thing about LaTeX is there's a very large volume of information available online should you get stuck with any problems when writing your report. So Overleaf itself actually provides extensive tutorials on various aspects of LaTeX. So we'd always recommend turning there first if you're stuck. You can see here are some of the links here. Um, also, Stack Overflow. Almost always there will be a situation where someone's encountered it before. There's entire forums dedicated to LaTeX problems, as you can see here. And then finally, a lot of students use something called TextMaker, which is a local copy of LaTeX, and it just provides you with a bit more help than Overleaf does. But this is not a necessity to download, and we don't um, recommend that you have to. It's only if it helps you. So that's all for this video on LaTeX. Uh, in the next video, we're going over some of the basics of coding your first report. Thanks so much for watching.